What's up guys? So like the title says, I'm finally running my X-Max again because I'm getting it ready for some upgrades. And I finally broke it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ten runs later, broken. So let me take this off so you can see my face. And uh, here it is, the mighty X Max fifth scale. I run it 8S, 4S, and 4S. On 6S, it's kind of a dog. On on 8S, it's not even overpowered. It's just so much controllability. You can see me make these turns like like no problem, and it's hard to flip it over, really. So what I was doing yesterday was doing some big jumps. There's some getting it ready, getting it ready to, um, to upgrade the motor. We're gonna put this bad boy. It's called a Easy Run 5687. I think it's just gonna be torquey, and I like the controllability of the hobby wing and adjustability hobby wing motors and ESC. So we'll see. And I have this 1,000 ounce inch servo. That's not you know that's just e ESC powered. And um, I'm going to put it in here. So this thing, I think, 270 ounces. It's kind of a dog uh, when you're not moving that fast. So get it going. So what I broke, so I did a bunch of runs. My problem was my, my ramp was this big. I thought it was big, but <laughs> this vehicle is this big. So I had like an inch clearance on both sides. So whenever I was off to the side, the, the plane, the, the plane, the, the car would take off, like almost upside down. So what I broke was this. The arm, it just landed on the on the front wheel, like ah, boom, augered. Um, so it broke, uh, my fault, but I, it does seem like this, this piece is not as strong as it could be. Because I did see they have a heavy duty lower arm now. So let me know if you have experience with that. What you guys have broken on your X Maxis. Um, I know this is strong, but it can break as well. <laughs> one, of my, one of the guys on my, my crew broke the chassis in half. <laughs> Just landing it so hard. So, um, yeah, I, I ordered a heavy duty one, but if you guys have other suggestions, let me know. And if you have experiences with motors, you know, I want this to be like like an agile poppy machine is uh, is my um, my motivation for the next round of mods. All right. Thanks for time, guys. Okay, we'll show you some running video of what the X Max is so good at. So much fun. <laughs> Monster truck. If you hang on till the end, I'll show you the three parts with part numbers that we are going to upgrade this beast but there is one that can break so yeah enjoy the video i'll give some commentary on what you're looking at that's the the hit that broke the x max right arm and here i gave it to a friend for the first time and he's seeing how powerful it is and how controllable it is it has an auto flip feature not really good for the motor and you see but if your car is like a hundred yards away pretty handy so you, i would say use it sparingly right there you're jumping it the ramp is pretty narrow and sometimes when you miss the ramp the, the front dips or the it's hard to recover and you can see no body one of the bad things about the x max and the max is the the body can come off on hard hits and here we go to a venue a mile away or a half mile away and we use our our cart and our e-bikes to transport these vehicles we have the fire team and the x max this is in the baylands we will go back there a little far but we had fun we took a drone out and we see some shots fire team is good but the x max is just there's another level. You can kind of feel the ground shake when this 25 pound beast is doing its thing. Easy to see, easy to control, and it can jump. Can't really do the back clips and whatnot with the stock setting, but uh, really fun. So here's the parts. Here is the 7830. It's the reinforced arm. You can see there's less space and uh, they say the material is not as brittle and to upgrade the servo 7749 you need a 
adapter. You also want to upgrade the the servo saver since it's too too chintzy. And here's the motor we're gonna put in. It's a fifth scale motor from Hobbywing.